guys welcome back to the channel and welcome if you are new to my channel hi my name is nicole from stay home with natalie nicole and today's video is a little bit different now i did post about this maybe a couple months ago asking if you guys did want a video of it and i honestly completely forgot to film it for you guys so i was actually going through my closet in our guest bedroom where i store a lot of our like seasonal stuff at and i was looking at it and i said okay you know what this is a perfect time to film it but today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I get children toys for super, super cheap. It's super simple to do. It's like nothing like too out of the way that you have to do. You just need literally a couple things on your phone and you can get stuff for dirt cheap. And I'm talking about literally like name brand toys for a dollar or two. It's absolutely crazy. So it's quite a bit of stuff. Um, I am going to give you my little tips and tricks on what you can do and what you shouldn't do. But um, if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's just jump right into it. I, as you guys know, like to bargain shop. I like to get my stuff when it's on sale. I rarely ever really like to pay full price unless it's something that I really, really, really need or really, really want. And it's kind of like a splurge. This is a neat little trick that I've, you know, picked up over time that I like to do when I can do it. You know, when I go to stores, I do my normal shopping and then I always like to check out their clearance section. And you're going to see, you know, in the clearance sections of Target, Walmart, you know, other kind of stores like that, they have the big clearance sticker, it might be yellow, might be red, something like that. And it'll say original price, then their clearance price. So what I like to do is if I'm at Target, for instance, I'll take that item to a scanner, scan it. And sometimes that item might be additionally marked down because Target likes to mark down their items from 30%. 50% then to 70% and then unfortunately they salvage it afterwards they used to go down to 90% and you can get stuff for dirt cheap but not anymore so that's what I like to do at Target I'll check out the clearance section or even I might pick an item up and just take it to the scanner and sometimes it might be like a hidden clearance item and then with Walmart same kind of thing with Walmart. I'll pick up the item. If there's a scanner in the store, I will scan it. If there isn't a scanner at the store, which I've noticed a couple of my Walmarts don't have in-store scanners anymore, which is kind of weird. I don't know why, but they have a Walmart app that you can simply download. You sign up for it's free. I will take my Walmart app and there is actually a price checker on the Walmart app. It'll actually show up at the uh, store's location that you're at. It'll say, you know, check price or anything like that. So I'll take that scan it and most of the time it's on sale i'm going to show you guys some really great deals and different things of prices and all that kind of stuff and different items i have picked up definitely with the toys now a lot of the stuff is mainly toys but they also have hidden clearance items or clearance items with home decor clothing baby stuff in general but like i said you just go pick up these items Take it to a scanner if you can find one. If not, scan it on your phone with only the Walmart one. Do not do it with the Target one because the Target's going to show it full price. But these items most of the time are additionally marked down because they really don't have the time to continue going into like the clearance section every other day or so, scanning every single item, seeing if it comes down cheaper, then print out another ticket for it. So what I like is that it's kind of like the thrill of hunting I guess you could say clearance hunting and you can find stuff for really really cheap over time so enough rambling let's just jump into it I'm going to show you guys the whole breakdown from Walmart Target and Michaels of all the clearance toys that I had picked up recently all right so I'm going to start off with Walmart first so a lot of these items were hidden clearance items I watched like I said a ton of Instagram videos I went in there found them scanned them with the Walmart app so for the first one is this scooter right here i actually picked this one up about maybe a month ago but this was originally 24.99 and i got it for five dollars with the walmart app you just simply scan the barcode it's going to show you is it on sale or it's going to show you a different price so that day i initially went because of these items now i did get all of them that were in the store and i think it was a total of either seven or eight of them i told josh about it he did not believe me that they were still going to be there he actually eventually thought this was actually pretty neat because it does save a lot of money but i found a ton of these scooters called subway surfers 
And there's three different designs. So here is a pink one. Here is the black design one. And then here is a orange one. Now I actually did post this on my community post asking if you guys can guess how much I spent for these scooters or bought each scooter for. So these scooters were originally $29.99. I got them for $5 a piece, which is great because we have a lot of young children in our family with our nieces and nephews, and they love being outside, so I thought these were going to be perfect birthday gifts, Christmas gifts. So next up, I have some craft items, which is this kind of pretty neat that I'm going to show you. So I actually had a ton of more of these and like different kind of bracelet designs, but these were originally $12.47, and the clearance sticker says $3, and I've walked past it a couple times and think anything of it. One day I decided to pick it up, scan it with my phone, and they were ringing up for $1. Another little crafting thing for a little boy is this DIY military kit, which is actually really neat. It's little wooden like pieces and you actually build your like tanks and trucks and stuff like that. And it's like a whole little kit right here. So if I do remember correctly, I think this retailed for $20 and I did get this for $3 actually. So this was one of the hidden clearance things. It was sitting on an end cap and they had it as a rollback, I believe for $10. So then I grabbed two because they had uh, military train and construction. I already picked up the train and construction ones and gave it away for gifts, but these ended up ringing up for $3 a piece. So now moving into some girly stuff, I got some Barbie dolls and I have three of these, if I could pick them all up. So I have Cinderella and she's got like a cute little tea cart. I have Ariel, she's with a vanity. Hopefully you guys can see it because I am sitting in front of my window. And I also have Belle, which she has like a little kitchen set, which is super cute. And I believe these retailed either between maybe $15 to $20 a piece. And these were only ringing up for $5 a piece. Now these were also on an end cap and it was on rollback for $10. And I grabbed each one, actually grabbed two of each one and scanned it. It was ringing up for $5. So I grabbed a couple. My husband's mother grabbed a couple and a couple of my friends were actually there too. They grabbed a couple to stock up for Christmas. And then I have these two cute little like fairy dolls. These are called Dream Seekers and it's just like a little cute fabric doll. They're actually really adorable. So these actually have two different type of clearance stickers on it. So these were originally $16.88 and then it was marked down to $12.66. And then $7, and then when I took my Walmart app, these were ringing up for $2 a piece. Then I have this little cute guy, which he's actually pretty neat. I did buy, I think, like seven of these because you guys aren't going to believe the price of it. But they're called Scruffaloves, and it's Secret Sense, and it is like this little kind of like ball, like a furry ball, and you wash it up. And it turns into an animal and they have different scents and it just says wash, pet reveal, scent reveal, dry and groom, which I think this is so cute. So this was originally 1972 and it was marked to 1315. And I've walked past this so many times. It probably sat in the clearance section for like about three weeks and it was hiding behind a good bit of stuff, like a whole bunch of these. They had like different color ones as well. And um, I decided to scan it and it was ringing for 75 cents. Then next up, I have this little guy. He's just, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's called Pixie Bells. It's cute, like you can like pet it and it spins around. It's got like a little fuzzy tail and you have like a little um, bracelet and stuff like that. So if I remember correctly, I was starting to peel this off because I was gonna use this for a gift. I think these were originally $15 or so and it was a clearance sticker for five, then I got it for $1.50. I found this adorable little like Christmas set. Look how cute, it's a little cup, it's a donut. I think that's a um, purse and a snowball. It's so cute. But it's a little baby teething set. I did find two of these and I actually got these after Christmas when these were 90% off and they weren't in the Christmas section, they were actually in the baby section. Um, there was like different kind of design ones, but the other ones weren't oddly enough ringing 90% off, but I got these for 90% off. And if I remember correctly, I only paid a dollar for each of these sets. So I just got a couple more things from Walmart that I'm going to show you one item from Target and then some hidden clearance from Michaels as well. So 
like I said with the craft kit, I also have this little guy right here. And this is a 7-in-1 Creative Studio 22-piece art set. And it's actually super cute. So the clearance sticker was, the price was originally $12.47. Marked down the six. And I got this guy for $2. So like I said, guys, you literally like just have to dig around the clearance section and scan stuff because there are items that ring up for relatively cheap. The next one I have is this Universe Ultimate Crystal Growing Laboratory. This was originally $21.97, marked down to $10. And I did get this one for $3 which is a steel. So all it is, is that you grow your own crystals, which is super neat. And then you can paint them afterwards is this cute little like pet shop. So it is the sparkle pets boutique, little life pets version. And it is a little bird plus birdhouse, little turtle plus baby turtles and a little dipper plus deluxe tank. So that's what the bird looks like the turtle and the fish right here. Now, I this was a hidden clearance item. I did see this off of Instagram, and I cannot remember for the life of me what the price of this was retail, like full price. It might have been 30, maybe even 40. But I did get this guy for $10, and I did pick up two of them. So moving into Target, you can also save a bunch of money using their actual in-store scanners to look up clearance items. So there is a lot of items that are hidden clearances throughout Target. They don't have the time to go ahead and mark down the item, but when you go to check out, it's going to end up ringing up cheaper. So back in the day, they used to have stuff go down to 90% off. Now as what I'm seeing, it's going down to 70% off. And like I said, they don't keep up with continuously marking them down and printing out new stickers. So if you see a clearance item, just go ahead and take it to one of their scanners, scan it, and most likely it's going to be cheaper. So this was a hidden clearance item, and I picked up four of them. I did go to another Target, and someone beat me to it and had like seven of these in their car. But it is of this a beautiful Our Generation doll. They're very similar to the American Girl dolls. I was a big American Girl doll fanatic when I was younger. I literally have every single doll, like even the original Samantha doll. I still have them to this day. I am holding on to them for if we were to have a daughter one day, or maybe I'll give it to one of my family members. But this is what the doll looks like. And as you guys can see on that book, it's got a little Christmas hat. So this was a Christmas doll and her name is Noelle, which is actually pretty cute. Her name's Noelle. So I took it to one of the scanners and long and behold, thank the Lord, they did not salvage it. These dolls were only $5.00. And I'm pretty sure like these big ones, like with all like the extra stuff to it are like 40 to $50 per piece. So like I said, I grabbed them all. They're all the same doll, but I know that there was a couple other Christmas ones there, but I didn't want to just go and grab everything. So I did leave those and actually those were not $5. I think they were marked at 15, maybe even 20 if I can remember correctly. But these girls were only $5. So then moving into Michael's, if you guys do shop there, you know that they do carry kids toys, kids crafting stuff, all that kind of stuff in like art supplies. So what I also like to do every so once in a while, this does work out not very often, is I'll go through the clearance sections where they have like the, they usually with my store, they have a separate section for kids stuff on clearance and then a separate section, you know, for like the other Michael stuff. So, and I'll actually pick up a couple items and scan it. Most of the time they aren't marked down anymore, but the one day I did go, <laughs> everything was marked down for like dirt cheap. So starting off right here, this is the picture projector by Crayola. And all you do is you literally just like draw on this with their markers and it projects light. So this was originally $20. Oh, excuse me. This was originally $31.99, then marked down to $20. I don't know if you guys are going to see that. And when I scanned it, I remember this one clearly because 
there was like seven of these and I gasped and there was a couple women around me and they ended up grabbing the rest of them. This was running up for $3.15, which I thought this was a steal. And then I have a bunch of hidden clearance items. There's actually a lot of items from Discovery. For instance, like this Extreme Crystal Science Kit. This is a seven crystal growing activity kit from Discovery. I don't know what the retail price of it is because it doesn't have any price tags, but the rest of these items I'm gonna show you are hidden clearance items that I actually found out through Instagram. I went the very next day and was able to score these and I got this thing for only $2. And then there was also two other little kits right here. So this kit is a, what is this? Glow in the dark slime sculpting kit and slime compound kit and glow in the dark power balls. Glowing science from Discovery. Don't remember the retail price of these, but I do remember that these smaller kits were on sale they had like one of those big huge red stickers for i believe 15 dollars. they were ringing up for one dollar so this is one of the kits and then here is a another one which this one is just with glowing crystals glowing cloud slimy gloop gloop slimy gloop and glow in the dark power balls this was also a dollar one of the videos i've recently seen some of the stores are still carry these and they are still coming up for the price that i purchased them at so it might be good for you guys to check it out not like i said i can't guarantee it because every store is different so they are of these art kits right here artist loft clear case sketching set it's a 38 piece sketching set with a like little sketching figure and then you got your charcoal pencils you got some uh, graphite pencils, some markers, and all that kind of stuff, and it shows you everything that's contained right there, and I know these were a hidden clearance when I did pick these up. When I saw the video, if I remember correctly, these were only ringing up for three dollars, so there was four different type of kits, but only two of the four were ringing up for that price, and then I also picked up the paint kit. Sorry for the glare. But that's what the paint kit looks like. It's a 53 piece kit. And this was also ringing up for $3. And then the last thing is this Trolls World Tour Inspiration Art Case by Crayola. And it's 110 pieces. So you get, I don't know if it's going to work out that well. But you get like all this stuff right here. And it looks like, like some sketching pads or drawings and stuff like that. And if I remember correctly, there was only one of these left and I was looking high and low for this because this was actually hidden. And I picked this one up for $7, which is a steal because this is a really nice case as well. It's like a really hard plastic case. It's super, super nice. So it'd be great for like little girls that are like want to color all the time, even great for like maybe school because it comes with a ton of crayons and a ton of like markers that are washable and like color pencils. It even has a glue stick and glitter that is so cute. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did kind of enjoy this. Like I said, it's a little bit different from what I usually do, but I just wanted to show you guys some little tips and tricks for you guys to save money because as you guys know, prices are going up with everything. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And who knows what's going to happen around Christmas time. There's probably going to be prices doubled and tripled than what they usually are so definitely check out your clearance sections of your store definitely take them to an in-store scanner or like i said if you have the walmart app scan it like i said sometimes it can be a little funky so try to use a scanner if you guys have a scanner if not use the app or ask someone and check out that clearance section because you're gonna find stuff that hasn't been additionally marked down and it's going to be marked down. And sometimes, like I said, guys, you can get some crazy deals for items for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars for name brand stuff. So definitely check out your local stores, check out those clearance sections. Or if you have Instagram, look up different kind of videos or even on YouTube to look up like hidden clearance items. But if you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.